Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and I have a few first impressions here. Knives I've never tried before, and um, they're in for sharpening or some type of service, but this is a Monterey Bay Knives. It's an integral, and man, this detent is very strong. This thing kicks. Now, this one, it, man, this thing smacks. Um, but yeah, it is a large knife, but it's actually in for, for, uh, lock stick. Now I want, I wasn't going to put it in this video, but I want to show the owner through this video that, you know, and I'm, I'm just trying to be honest, but, uh, I cannot get this thing to get lock stick for the life of me. I mean, I've, I've tried, uh, even putting pressure just to see, um, I've tried left-handed, um, I've tried everything and I cannot get it to get lock stick. I don't know what the issue is or if I know pro possibly what happened is that because sometimes in shipping temperature, you know, can change the, you know, knives a little bit. I don't know. Maybe he's in a really hot area and all the parts were expanded and, you know, it's not as hot here, at least right now. Maybe. I don't know. You know, I have no idea, but I'm going to contact him and ask him to watch this beginning part of this video because I can, it's smooth as butter. I mean, I can't get it to get lock stick. I've even tried to force it to get lock stick. I mean, nothing. So, you know, even if I put a little pressure, nothing. You know, and that's usually a for sure way to get lock stick and I'm getting nothing. So, but I do like the knife. I actually almost bought one of these, um, like a week ago or so, or I was looking into one. I'm not sure if there's any available still, but it is a Monterey Bay knives, Ray Laconico design. I actually have the small version of this exact knife. Uh, mine's, you know, like this big though. This thing is a beast. Let me grab it so you guys can see it. And you can see mine is also an integral. So these guys are the exact same. Mine is just the, the smaller version. Very snappy detent on this one too. Uh, but this one, man, since it's, it is a lot smoother. I'll say that. Um, but yeah, very, very awesome. But, you know, of course it's going to be, it has a bigger, heavier blade. The ergos are really good on this thing. Access to the lock bar, not that great, but you know, you can get it. They put a little chamfer right there. You can kind of just go around the front of it, but, um, you know, I like a little cutout right there, but it's not, it's not horrible on this guy. Very straightforward knife though. Um, so that is one thing that's cool about these, aside from it being a one piece of titanium, because this is all just one solid piece and everything's milled out from right here. But, um, uh, that, but the one thing that's cool is that everything is like, you know, just, uh, the blade is like basically all the way covered up inside the scale, barely showing at all. Very cool. Next knife. Now these other knives are from somebody else. Starting off with the Archbishop. I've never tried this knife, and I'll tell you what, I like it a lot. It reminds me a little bit of my uh, my Malice, but very, very awesome. I love this forward finger choil. The jimping is really well done, and I can tell... This thing just got modified. I can, I, it's all three of the next knives are in for sharpening, but I can tell this thing was recently etched and stone washed. And one way that stood out, the reason why I can tell is because this edge is stone washed or uh, etched and stone washed. So this one is a toothy edge request, so we'll be putting a nice toothy edge on there, which I'll tell you what, man, I think that was the best idea. If, you know, for this knife, that this thing's going to take an incredible toothy edge. The ergos on this thing is really nice. I'm confused about this clip. <laughs> I don't think this is the clip that came on it. I'm not sure what's up with that, but it looks like a Protec clip or something i'm not sure uh but you know whatever um i mean the clips work great so i'm not positive if that's what it is but whatever clip it is i don't think this is the one that came on this knife 
There's the Ferrum Forge symbol and M390. You can see it under the etch. The access to the lock bar is pretty nice, even though they don't give you a cutout. It's just, that, you know, they give you plenty of space. The drop is very, very smooth. All of the actions, whether it's the, the reverse flick or the flipper tab works great. Thumb flick's pretty good too. Awesome, awesome knife. Let's get to the next one. Now, this next one is the Chavez. Uh, what was it? The Chavez Scapegoat. I've seen this on Instagram a few times, and I think I've seen a couple videos on YouTube. Detent is a little late, but man, Riet's build quality is insane. Um, thick slabs of titanium. I like that they did not mill these out. It really makes it feel... I don't want to say expensive, but higher end. It really does because of the weight and just the overall build quality and how all these parts are fit together. When you have these these little bit heavier uh, scales put together with such build quality and such precision, such tight fit and finish, it just, you can really feel the quality. There is the skull clip. I personally think it looks cool. It sucks in the hand but I think it looks cool. And these knives are trying to be functional and cool at the same time. The detent is really nice. These thumb studs actually work pretty good, even though there's not a lot of texturing around the edge, but it winds up working out really good for the thumb flick or the reverse flick. Nice big choil on there. You can get up real tight to that blade. Or you can go back here, but then in that case, you are going to get stuff stuck in there if you're doing repeat cuts. If you're only doing one or two cuts, it's not a big deal, though. Access to the lock bar is really good, and it's really comfortable. It feels nice and soft in the hand. I mean, they don't give you a cutout, but it's nice and wide here, so you have plenty of room. But the detent is late. So, But I figure you can, after you get used to your own knife, you'll know exactly the spot to to get it at oh just got myself but yeah that is one thing though if you go down too low then you got this edge coming down a lot of people probably just go like this but you can you'll figure it out where like you'll just barely touch it right there very drop shutty nice and centered perfect blade to handle ratio holy cow awesome yeah i nicked myself <laughs> All right, next one. This is one I'm pretty excited to get on the channel or get to check out, get to sharpen. And this is the J-Cap, the Obscene Company, something obscene, sorry, something obscene J-Cap. Now, this thing has a really cool sound to it. Oh, I don't know if it'll come over the mic. Very cool sound. Nice deep hollow ground drop point blade. Uh, is that rust? I think I see a little bit of rust on there. These things did come nice and oiled. I'll get it out for him. No worries. Um, but sorry, guys. I got, got that little nick on my finger. I'm trying to keep it off the camera. Anyways. Nice, deep, deep hollow ground. Love that satin finish. Look at that satin finish. Holy cow. That is such a good looking satin finish. Very, very nice. Then you can see the, of course, I had to get some of my nail on there. Um, you see the flat section up there, all the different directions of the satin. I love when you see that, all those you know, just the, how it's all different directions right there. I love that. Nice, thick, robust tip without being too thick. That's what's actually pretty awesome about this. Seeing uh, videos of this, I would have thought that this was way more robust at the tip. It's not. Like, it is, but it's not. It's, like, literally what I think of as a robust tip. 
It's not overly robust. It's not too thick. It's perfectly suitable for slicing while being mega thin behind the edge right here. So slicing, oh man, this thing would be such a good slicer. And the ergos just melt in your hand. This little spot right here, the, the jimping, you lock in right there. And then you still do have the... The option for a choil, not a big choil, but a choil nevertheless. It's uh, I love the logo they have there too. That's awesome. Uh, both sides has it. 20 CV. Access to the lock bar is amazing. Full fall shut action. Pretty much full fall shut. Very, very awesome. So this thing's going to take a mirror polished edge. And I'm really excited to put it on there. I know it's going to be very beautiful on this guy. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.